Shrine Keeper, do not be alarmed. It is me, Haru, the Kitsune the Shrine is for. I am here because I sensed that you were dangerously cold. It is dreadful outside. It is snowing like I have rarely ever seen. Are you alright? Are you cold? Yes, that is what I thought. Come here, little one, away from the door, and let us get you warmed up. Take off your shoes and coat and set them over there. I know you are shocked to see me. I am sorry for surprising you, but I knew you were cold and, well, I really appreciate everything you do for this shrine, and I wanted to express my thanks by treating you to some much needed warmth. Please, come here and I will make a seat for you. As you can see, each of my tails is a bit wider than you are, and quite a bit longer, so I can make you a comfortably sized seat by holding two of them together, like this. Would you like to have a seat here by the fire? Oh, yes, they are tantalizing. So big and fluffy. And they are among the softest of anything you will have felt in the mortal realm. Please, you can lay between them lengthwise. Yes, like that. Hmm. You say you feel <laughs> like a hot dog? I will need to take your word for it. Go ahead and nestle in. Oh, I know. Yes, they are quite soft. Settle in and relax, pup. I would offer you more tails, but you were just outside. It would be dangerous to eat you up too quickly. In a little bit, you can have some more, if you would like. I cannot express enough my gratitude for all your service and devotion. I have been kicking myself for my shyness. I almost never show my face here. It just happens that this is a perfect opportunity for me to meet you and to demonstrate my appreciation. I know that you've been maintaining my shrine for the past year or so, keeping it clean, speaking with visitors, participating in rituals, you are so diligent and kind, and I cherish you. Thank you very much. It is such bitter cold outside. Why are you here today? <laughs> you can forgo your tasks when it is a matter of your own safety. I will understand. Oh... You did not think it would get that cold. <laughs> oh, how precious. Well, please be more careful. I cannot have anything happening to my faithful, adorable shrine keeper. Oh, your cheeks. Are they becoming even more red? But it does not seem like you are getting colder. Here, <laughs> let me give you another one of my tails and I will put it right on top of you, like a blanket, and will cover most of your body. But we will leave your head uncovered so you can breathe easily. There, does that feel nice? I know, it is like being submerged in fluffy warmth. Please enjoy it. Hmm. This is nice. I do not see many humans. Have you been enjoying your time keeping this shrine, pup? Oh, that makes me glad. 
Yes, this place is peaceful. I myself am not fond of louder environments. This shrine is wonderfully suitable for me. I have enjoyed the time you have spent keeping the shrine as well. I can tell you have a kind and devoted heart. And, uh, what is it you humans like to say? You have lovely vibes. Is that it? <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Are you thirsty or hungry? No? You are only tired, okay. Well, little one, I have just the thing for that. Nine of them, in fact. You may know, my tails have a magical quality. When slept against, they grant pleasant and peaceful dreams. I can see that your eyelids are already quite heavy. It must be the warmth and softness of my tails, huh? You are so cute. Oh, your cheeks are getting red again. Here is what we can do. I am going to keep two of my tails for myself to sleep on. But you can have the other seven. All right, quick math time. You are already using three. So you get four more. Would you like that? My shrine keeper, would you like to sleep in my tails? Great. I would like that too. Here, I am going to gently lift you up with my tails, just a little, so I can slip a third tail right under you. There. Now, you are laying on three of my tails, like they are a bed. Now, let us get you on your side, facing the fire. There you are. Grab the tail on top of you, give that one a hug, and tuck it between your bent knees like it is a long pillow. And then rest your head down on my bed of tails. You can use it like a soft pillow for your head. Yes, just like that. Get nice and comfortable. Now I'm going to drape the remaining three tails on top of you lengthwise, like a giant fluffy blanket, up to your shoulders. Hmm. Is that nice? Oh, really nice, I see. Thank you, Pop. I can feel you warming up. Is it comforting? Yeah. Thank you. It is quite a rare thing for a kitsune to permit a human to sleep in their tails, let alone seven of them. But I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You are going to sleep well and have lovely dreams. Maybe I will even see you there. You are surrounded by my tails with only your head poking out. I should have no problem at all keeping you comfortable. But if you feel like you are getting too warm, please feel free to force one of my tails off of you. Or, if you cannot, feel free to wake me. I want your sleep to be as pleasant as possible, little one. You can fall asleep, Pop. I will keep you safe. Nothing would dare try to harm you here. And if it did, it would not get past.
trust me. You have no problems within this shrine. Your present duties are finished, and your future duties are far away. You are free to drift off, surrounded by warm, soft, fluffy tails, like you are being hugged on all sides by warm, friendly clouds. The snow and wind outside cannot touch you. Here it is warm. Inside my tails and near the fire, you are cozy and warm. Really, I have you to thank for. You are the reason this shrine is in such impressive shape. Please enjoy this warmth, because you have earned it. I appreciate you, and I am here to keep you warm, pup. Drift off. Let your body be loose and heavy. Sink into my fluffy tails. You are surrounded by the softest, coziest blankets and pillows. There is no one here but you and me. There is peace here. You are bundled up in my tails listening to the gentle fire and my voice. It is safe to fall asleep, little one. There's nothing to worry about here. I will take care of everything. Your only duty is to sleep. You deserve it. You work so hard for me and for this shrine. I appreciate you so much. I want to help you rest well. So please, drift off to sleep. You are so cute. Such a gentle creature. How brutal nature must be to harass you with the cold. Well, nothing can touch you here. Here, there is only warmth and rest. I will watch over you until you fall asleep. Then I will sleep as well. But until then, all I want is for you to drift off, peaceful, worry-free, comfortable, warm, cozy, cozy in my tails, cozy in my shrine, cozy under my protection. My sleepy shrine keeper, you do not need to think about anything. Clear your mind. If you must focus on something, focus only on the sound of my voice. my adorable Shrine Keeper. Let your body rest. Let it be heavy. Let it sink into the warm clouds, which are hugging you with pure warmth. 
You are cozy here. You are surrounded by softness, by my gentle tales. Sleepy, sleepy pup. You have all the time in the world. I can stay here as long as you would like to rest. I am in no rush. All I want is for you to sleep and have pleasant dreams. Be perfectly still. Relax all your muscles. Hold no tension anywhere. Be completely loose. Let your head be heavy. Let your body be heavy. And sink into the warmth of my tails. Warm blankets and pillows. For my beloved Shrine Keeper. Thank you for everything that you do for me. Drift off. Drift off. Think only about the sound of my voice. You are surrounded by warmth. Only need 